Poverty, it's you. Welcome, it's good to see you again. We are here in the heart of Bryanston once again. And this is Devonshire Road, one of the most exclusive roads in a very, very exclusive area. A stone throw away from the four-way CBD, a nice up and coming CBD, as well as sands and CBD, so you know you're not gonna be sitting in traffic for too long. But this home is something special about it. It is bringing the bushveld to Bryanston. So follow me in, because I think it is time for me to show you this house. So as we walk in to this property, the first thing you see is this double wide entrance hall with this beautiful bamboo flooring. Now this house is 860 meters squared inside with 2622 meters squared of ground space. There is tons and tons of space here. And as you can see, we're walking through this beautiful home. This home has been made to bring that game lodge vibe into Bryanston and into this urban area. As you can see on my right, there's this beautiful river stone feature wall. And if we carry on, just on my right over here, there is a mahogany fireplace that brings so much warmth into this house. Again, double vaulted ceilings with this thatch. Mm, it smells like I'm in the Kruger. Now this house is retailing for just about 7 million rand. And we're going to talk more about how you can purchase this house very, very shortly. Follow me and let me show you as this is the first lounge feed, let me show you the second one. So as you walk off the sitting room, as soon as you come into the house, you've come now to a smaller, although nothing in this house is small by any standards, but a smaller and more personal sitting room. This could be a cigar room, this could be your TV room, this could be really anything you want of it. And the first thing you've noticed are these floor to halfway ceiling curved windows behind me. And it's another architectural design throughout the house where they do these curved windows. It gives you such a nice 180 degree view of your grounds. And in this case, that beautiful, beautiful blue pool. But another thing that this lounge does is this lounge opens up into the first of the two dining areas. A little bit of a more formal dining area. And what you'll do is you'll come right up these stairs and you're leading into it immediately and it is placed just off the two sitting rooms. And as you can see, it's perfectly sized to seat six people. Again, it's got some beautiful windows in here, letting in a lot of natural light with this high ceiling and this chandelier that really does encapsulate that Bushveld vibe, again, in the heart of Bryanston. It really is a place of relaxation. Um, more than something that you'd come in and feel like you're in a home. It does feel like you're in a holiday here. But follow me, let me take you to the kitchen. And as we come around the corner, we immediately be led into the kitchen slash dining room nook area. On the left, beautiful little nook for you to sit down and enjoy breakfast with your family. And on the right, a entertainer's dream kitchen. This kitchen here, as you can see, has got sandstone granite toppings, as well as a four burner gas stove with two electric gas hobs. And the immediately what you'll see is just how open and free flowing this is where you can sit here and prepare a meal for your family and still be able to talk to everybody sitting in the dining area. But another very, very cool feature of this kitchen is just how much storage space it has. So on my right, you can see just how big the area for your fridges are. Your double door fridges will fit there very, very easily. And as we come in here, ample, ample, ample storage space. But another key feature of this kitchen is our double oven here. D5, and as you can see, the Gemini Gourmet range. So for all of you budding chefs out there, this kitchen is already catering for you. Now as we move forward, you'll see that this hallway over here leads off to a scullery. That is where you'll be putting all your appliances, your dishwashers, your tumble dryers, your washing machines, and they are out of the way. You will see ample kitchen space and kitchen cupboard space on your right hand side as well as on your left hand side as well as a lot of space for your different appliances, your dishwashers, your washing machines, your tumble dryers, they can all fit here and fit away from prying eyes. Another really cool feature about the scullery is your double kitchen sink. So all your dishes after a hearty meal, you can throw into the scullery, put them away, and they're out of sight until you can deal with them a little bit later. But we've got a lot more to show you, so let's go along. Off the left of the hallway, you'll find yourself in the study. The study has floor to ceiling windows letting in a lot of light and air which is exactly what you need during your early mornings and late nights working. The study incorporates the same beautiful thatch letting in that aroma as the rest of the house does. It also has bookshelves on both sides of it which you can take mighty good use of if you bring it in your novels. 
And here we are at the end of the hallway, but we are far from showing you everything that this house has to offer. And right now I'm going to be taking you into the master bedroom. So let's go take a look. And here we are within the master suite. And this suite has so many things that really do scream presidential. And one of the first is those floor to ceiling windows. 180 degree views of the grounds. It really is such a presidential feel standing here and looking at it. It makes me think of the White House. Another really cool feature of this master suite is the backing. Take a look at that wallpaper. They've really done a cool job of bringing in, even though the bed is recessed, bringing in that wall. Ample space for a king size bed here. You can see inside the recess. I just want to lie back and kick it off for the rest of the day. But that is not all within this master suite. And we're going to be showing you the ensuite bathroom and just what that has to offer as well. Let's go. And leaving the master suite, we have come in to the ensuite bathroom. To my left, you will see the double vanities that should stop a lot of fighting in the morning. And on my right, you'll see a very luxurious jacuzzi bath, as well as a double spaced shower. And if you look very closely in that shower, there's beautiful windows right in front of you so that you've got the view of this outside private garden. And if you follow me outside, you'll see with these super high walls, it offers you a lot of privacy. This is a little oasis, a bubble away from the outside area. But it's not the only thing you can do here. And if I whip off this jacket, I can very much go and enjoy this outdoor shower. Now we're gonna take a look at what the upstairs has to offer, but I'm gonna need you for that. Come on, let's go. As you arrive at the top of the landing, you'll be greeted by two different bedrooms, one on the left and one on the right. The left side bedroom is a guest room and the right side is a feature bedroom. So let's take a look at our right hand bedroom. Throughout the tour, I've spoken how this house brings so much of that lodge like living to Bryanston and nothing encapsulates that more than this bedroom. It brings in a feel like you are at a safari with the way that they've incorporated the bed and the bathroom behind it. And as you can see, just to my left, again, that 180 degree views of the outside, as well as a balcony. Let's go take a look at that. Now our left hand side room has you covered with windows and lighting, as well as a full bathroom area to your right hand side. So if you come with me on this side here, you'll see the bathroom area leads all the way across the guest bedroom into a shower, a full bath, as well as a vanity suite there. The bedroom's just in front of me, the bed's in front of me. It again brings in that lodge living. It is so peaceful here. It cannot be understated. Another really cool feature about this room is that window looks onto the garden. The grounds here are huge. And it's something that all of the architecture within this place takes advantage of. And I love that design feature. Checkmate. And let me tell you what else you need to check in this entertainment area. The first on my right is a built-in jacuzzi, which I'm sure must be tons of fun whenever you're hosting a braai, whenever you're having friends over, because this area here is an entertainer's dream. We've got a full-on seating area. Let me just move that baby out the way. Full-on seating area here for your friends. We have got a lounge suite there when you want to have a little bit of a party, which after COVID, I'm sure every single person wants to do. After lockdown, another thing a lot of people are going to want to do is take advantage of this built-in bar. It is right there behind us. Another thing is just behind me, you'll see that there is seating that is built in, recessed off the wall underneath the windows that you can take advantage of and enjoy while relaxing out here and enjoying the incredible South African sunsets. This area also provides spectacular views of the grounds in front of us, as well as the pool area. And I'm very, very keen to show you more of that right now. The house is surrounded by expansive grounds. Following this pathway leads you to an idyllic swing, smartly placed away from the main house. As you move up the hill, you see the feature posts of the house holding up the second story balcony. Moving off to the left, we have another shaded sitting area, the perfect place to enjoy a Sunday cup of tea. This is also where the main room's outdoor shower is located. Some other features of the house to consider is the massive double garage, easily tall enough and wide enough to fit two cars of various size, length and height. 
Also, something to definitely keep in mind is the security measures the owners have taken. There's 10 strand electric fence surrounding the property, as well as an intercom system and a camera system. Another thing I'd definitely like to mention is the beautiful water features that you find throughout the house. Specifically, as soon as you walk into it, the water feature almost overwhelms the senses. Again, bringing in such a nice holiday, out in the bush felt vibe throughout the house. So from myself, Chad Viveros, and the whole team at Private Property, we hope that you find your dream home. Thank you and goodbye.